Hello. Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you guys my morning routine, but it's a little twist on it because I'm going to show you guys my morning routine plus some DIYs and some life hacks and basically some tips that you guys might want to put into your morning routine as well. If you want me to do like more of these type of videos, then you should totally give this video a thumbs up. This video is not going to be focused like on my school morning routine. This video is kind of more like my weekend morning routine plus some hacks and tips that I use in my school morning routine as well. It's kind of like a mixture of both of those. I don't know. Yeah. And also, I'm not doing these things like every day or every single day of the weekend or the vacation or whatever. It's just kind of like a lot of things, including my video that I usually do, but not every day. So I hope you guys are excited because I am, and let's get started. Ooh. <laughs> so my morning would normally start something like this. A baby? Are you a baby? A oh, baby in my room? in my dreams. Some days I find it so hard to get out of bed, but one thing that always helps me is a motivational quote on my bedside table. So here's how to make one. You're going to need a canvas, a quote to take inspiration from, a couple of paints, a sharpie, and a paintbrush. So because my quote was, opportunities are like sunrises, if you wait too long you'll miss them, I decided to just paint the sunrise and go with all my favorite colors and just make it very, very beautiful and at least I tried guys. If I failed, at least I tried. But you know what? In the end, I think it turned out pretty great. I'm pretty proud of it. However, I was planning to go in and write the quote with a black sharpie, but the sunrise turned out a little bit too dark, so I had to write it with a silver sharpie instead. And when I was done writing, I just waited for it all to dry, and then I put it on my bedside table, and now I have an inspirational quote to get me up every morning. You know that feeling when you wake up and you feel really groggy and everything just turns blurry and dark? I have an instant hack for that. Play some water besides your bed, and just drink that before you go out of your bed and you'll just feel much more refreshed and ready to take on the day. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in my pajamas, I just feel less productive and just lazier generally. So what I like to do is just change them to my exercising clothes and put my hair up. However, there's one problem I always face when putting my hair up in a ponytail. The baby hairs. So what I like to do to fix this problem is just grabbing a H&M headband for like one buck and use that instead of buying those $20 Nike ones. Okay, so after I've gotten changed, I like to go to the bathroom and go to the toilet and brush my teeth. Of course, wash my hands. I do that. Yes. So I'm sorry I forgot to film that I wash my hands, but I do wash my hands, so don't you worry, okay? Okay, so after I brush my teeth, I like to wash my face with my Nictil Nictil Cleanser from Elixir Pastaceuticals. And I look like a clown, but you know what? Um, I don't care. It's the morning, so it doesn't matter. And after I use this moisturizing-ish cream from Alexia as well, it's called Nictil 4%. And then I head out and go down and make myself some breakfast. And you know what? I want my smoothie cup in the morning to be fun and colorful and inspirational, so I'm just gonna DIY it myself. So I just took some of these glass and porcelain pens and I decided just to draw some kind of snowflakes or just some fun designs on my cup. And I also wrote, good morning, because that's a good thing to write to yourself if you're drinking from this cup in the morning. So yeah, and then I just made some smoothie. Uh, the recipe will be down below if you want to make the same smoothie as I made right here. And you should probably try it out because it was really, really good. So normally when I'm eating my smoothie, no, I'm not eating, you can't eat a smoothie. So normally when I'm drinking my smoothie, I like to just sit down on a couch or a chair or a stool or wherever I can find and check my social media so that I know I'm not missing out on anything like the dress or bite dance or dabbing. Honestly, it's so easy to miss out on things these days. Okay, so right before I go exercise, I like to make myself some icy water. There's two ways you can do it. One, put a bunch of water into a water bottle and just put it into your freezer and let it stay there for three or more hours. Or, if you don't have that much time, like I didn't right here, you could just grab a water bottle and fill it up with ice cubes all the way to the top, and then you can just go ahead and fill in all the water that is needed to fill up the entire water bottle. 
after I put on my shoes and I walk out the door and I start doing some core exercises. And the good thing about doing this water bottle trick is that it actually is a three in one hack. Firstly, you could use the water bottle with some ice in it as a massage roller to warm up your muscles. After, you could use it as a weight. And lastly, you could drink the water. So after my strength exercise, I like to do some endurance workouts like running, running upstairs, which basically kills me from the inside, but I like it because it's good for me and it gives me good results, but it's really hard. So when I come home from exercising, the first thing I do is obviously hop into the shower and change from my workout clothing. And also I like to let my hair loose because my head starts hurting if my hair has been in a ponytail for too long. Yep, guys, heard that? Girl problems. Okay, so this is the outfit I wore for today. Normally because fall is here now, I would wear something a little bit more bundled up or warmer, but because the weather has been super good lately, I'm wearing something summery. And after, I just like to cone my hair. Okay, hold on a minute. Honestly, I don't comb my hair every day. Because sometimes volume is pretty great and I just take my hair out of ponytail and just do a little bit of like this and then I just flip it over. We got this instant voluminous hairstyle that has beachy waves and has everything that I need in my life. Guys, it looks pretty cute, doesn't it? Haha, <laughs> -ha, little heck right there. Okay, sorry, moving on. <laughs> At this point of time in the morning, I like to put on some perfume and also some makeup if I feel like it, but I don't wear makeup every day. Next up, some mornings I like to file my nails and paint them in some color of my desire. And today I actually decided to do it, so pretty proud of that. And the color I chose was this super pretty light pink one from Soya, which is kind of like transparent. But if you look closely, there are pink shades in there. On a real note though, letting nail polish dry takes so much time. Like literally, somebody needs to find a hack for that. Wait. I just did. Okay, so what I like to do is just dance because dancing for me gets time running so much faster and I just try to not hit my hands into my clothing and nail polish will dry very fast. Oh, it's dry already. Um, okay, I'll just go. Next up, I'll just go grab some socks or some gloves or something if I need that, but today I didn't, so I just went straight down to my kitchen and made myself some nice breakfast. Even though I drank a smoothie, I like to eat a little bit more breakfast just to get myself going because breakfast is the most important meal of the day, guys. It's very important, so eat your breakfast. So my average everyday breakfast consists of toast or just bread with some bananas and some nice topping, I guess we could say. And I also really like drinking lemon juice in the morning because it really just energizes me in some weird way. There are so many benefits of drinking lemon water. It boosts your immune system, energizes you, hydrates you, oxidates the body, and it basically just makes you feel so much more refreshed. And when I'm eating my breakfast, I like to listen to music because it just gets me more energetic. However, I tend to get a little uh, into the music and I start dancing and that kind of stuff, so um, it's probably not the best idea. And then as always, I'm probably a little bit late because I always procrastinate with going out when I'm eating my breakfast. Then I'll just go grab my shoes, grab my jacket or a bag if I'm having that or I have to bring a lot of stuff and then I'll just go out and enjoy my day. And that is basically our morning routine, guys. I hope you enjoyed and got some tips, maybe some life hacks and DIYs you want to try out. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up because a thumbs up block the haters. So let's block the haters, people. Also subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Hindsight is bleeding when your heart's bleeding and all you can see is red till you discover it